Good morning ladies and gentlemen, my name is The Volume Total and today we're back with another Enlisted episode and this time we're talking about the top 5 best Enlisted Gold Order vehicles. Or should I say, what you can do with your Gold Order vehicle orders that is actually worth it. So without further ado, let's get started. Of course this video has been basically planned a long time ago, of course the vehicles right now are not are kind of quite obvious but at the same time not so obvious, but these vehicles have been picked very very hard and as a spoiler alert almost none of these vehicles you're going to be using towards the end game because these vehicles at the end game are quite useless so if you haven't figured it out now i'm very sorry and so therefore if these vehicles you appear that there's a better vehicle please switch these out because these vehicles in the early game are very 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 useful but at the late game they're almost useless or in some cases it's towards the late game they're completely useless and in the middle game they're still slightly useful. But that said let's get started with the video. In 5th place we have the BF110 G2 Hergitz. Now this thing is a very interesting plane as a matter of fact I would rate this one as the best plane in Axis Normandy and the reason is because of its 30mm cannon, its 37mm cannons and its rockets. Now. The 30 and 37 millimeter cannons are absolutely insanity. They can destroy tanks from the ground, considering what Enlisted is doing with the HE splash radius and whatnot. So they can actually, as of right now, take care of tanks from the ground, which is amazing. The rockets are also amazing. If you know where to hit, you can also kill tanks. And if you don't know where to hit, you can also kill tons of infantry really quick, really fast. Of course, it's no H4, which means it's not going to be that good of a rocket, but against some tanks, it should be more than enough. And unlike American P-38s and P-47s, the BF-110 doesn't have that many rockets, so that's going to be an issue, which, hey, at this point, I don't really care about because the BF-110 G2 is quite interesting. Also, the camel with the sharks is also quite interesting. But the main selling point of this plane is the 30mm cannons and the 37mm cannons which are amazing considering the fact that these can instant kill almost every plane, any plane, and almost can destroy even light armored vehicles like the Stuarts and even sometimes destroy Shermans which is amazing. So that's that for the BF-110 G2. Next one we have up is the T-34-1941 so Stalina. There's actually two T-34s in Stalingrad and this is actually the one that is slightly less camouflage. If you want to get the one that has the black camouflage T-34, go ahead, it's not my problem, just pick a T-34. Now what's so good about the T-34 is obviously it's 76mm cannon, like I said, a very good cannon. It's an all-rounder, if you played Moscow you know what the hell I'm talking about. And obviously the T-34 is an amazing tank. This is the T-34 1941 version of course, so that's going to be very very good. The slope armor is going to be amazing, everything is amazing. The only issue is that, well, there's two things. One is in Stalingrad, and two, obviously the T-34 is behind a paywall lock, which means that you technically do not own the T-34, but because of the gold order, you can technically own the T-34, so that's going to be interesting. What I mean by this is that in-game, uh, if you don't have the Stalingrad, pack, which means you don't have every level unlocked, the T-34 originally is not unlocked unless, well, you get the gold order, which is what we're doing here. Of course, the T-34, you can also get the KV-1, which the KV-1 T-34, honestly, if you ask me, uh, the KV-1 is slightly better, but hey, if you want a T-34 with a 76mm cannon, go ahead, it's not my problem. But honestly, the T-34 is an amazing tank, I really would like to get it, and it's a very good tank, obviously. And now we are coming up to the closer ones. In the third spot we have the Sherman M4A2 Sherman Bomb. This is basically a regular Sherman with the Canadian 27th Armor Regiment on, of course, at Normandy. Now what's so good about this tank is that you can use this tank if you have the gold order from the get-go. Because this vehicle is unlocked literally at level 1, which means you can use it at level 1 and you can just basically bring it out to the battlefield at level 1. Now obviously the stewards are very very bad in terms of getting kills and this is way better. Of course there's other tanks like the Jumbo and whatnot but this tank is also quite amazing. It has almost the same cannon as the Jumbo which is the 75 M3 cannon which is almost the Jumbo's cannon but that's that um, very interesting tank. Obviously against the late game units you are going to be hopelessly outmatched because if you're facing a Tiger good luck, if you're facing a Panther good luck, and if you're facing anything between that you're 
pretty much screwed. But that said, the Sherman M4A2 Sherman and Bomb is amazing for the early game. That is, if you it skips you basically a lot of levels with the Sherman. So that's that. Very interesting. Next up, we have the P51D5. NA. Hurry home honey. Now, a lot of people have been saying this is an amazing plane, and I'm going to tell you the reason why. The P-51D is an amazing plane by itself. It has a lot of Browning machine guns, a lot of decent armament against planes. What makes this thing even better than the regular P-51 is that this can be unlocked at level 12, which is not that hard if you ask me. And the most important thing is that this thing has two, I kid you not, two 500 pound bombs which are amazing. These things can take out tanks, any tank, almost any tank on the battlefield. As a matter of fact, I, I think it has no issue taking out any tank on the battlefield. This is actually amazing considering the fact that this plane has the ability to shoot down enemy planes and also the ability to destroy basically every tank on the ground. And it's a fighter which means that it can refuel even faster than most bombers which is amazing. So that is actually very, very good, and considering the fact that in Normandy Allies, the Allies can have a lot of good planes, this makes it amazing. Like I said, the Hurry Home Honey is an amazing plane, if you ask me, and I would highly, highly suggest that you get it. Of course, if you get the P-47, I have no doubt that you should choose the P-47, because the P-47 is way, way better than this thing. Not by much, because it has the HR, H4 and MH4 rockets, which are amazing, but um, the P-47 is, in my opinion, miles better than the P-51. This is really used for the early game, and this is really used for if you'd like to cast bomb, which is something that I find really helpful in Normandy. But, let's move on to the number one spot. The number one spot is in Allies Moscow, the T-50. Now, obviously, you can literally get the T-50 from the get-go, which is amazing. I do not need to tell you guys how amazing that is, because literally... You are skipping a ton of levels. How many levels? A lot. <laughs> and when I mean a lot, I literally mean a lot because this tank is really, really worth your money. And it is literally your weight in gold because the T-50 has a 47mm gun. It is very fast. Has two machine guns, which is decent. The main selling point of this tank is the fact that its gun is pretty good, which is expected of a almost a mid-tier vehicle. Of course, it will not last you for the late tier. But it would last you all the way until you get the T-28, and even until you get the T-34. The selling point of this thing, like I said, is not only the gun, but the hull and the armor. This thing is almost unpenetrable from the front, and well, unless you're facing a Panzer IV F2, which is interesting. But this thing is so good that I would actually have some people are literally spreading videos on trying to how to take out this thing, which is very hard, by the way. If you've played against this thing, you know what I'm talking about, but because this thing is very, very, very hard to take out. But that said, yes, the T-50 is the number one spot, because this tank is extremely hard to take out, almost impossible if you ask me from the front, unless you have a pretty big caliber round, and it has a pretty good gun, which is amazing. But that's it, that's all it for this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join Discord, and I'll see you in the next one.